Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play Kerbal Space Program. My name is Hillstash, and this is the, uh, I already lost track, seventh maybe, episode of Let's Go to Elu, where we are, for unexplained reasons, strongly desiring to go and land a manned uh, lander on Elu and bring back science from there. The only other uh, stop I'm planning on making, and uh, that's something I really want to check up on, is uh, a... Uh, a Duna kind of mission. You know, I'm thinking of landing on Ike, but I mean, to go there and not land on Duna as well would be a little silly. So, you know, there's a good chance I'm going to be trying out some uh, stuff and doing double landing. Uh, let's see. So I'm just checking on like satellite here because I want to check the Kerbal alarm clock. Oh, 47 days. <clears throat> We've more 10 days in. I need to start spacing out my uh, launches, maybe just like Scott Manley does. Um, let's see, he does a week. That gives me quite a while still <laughs> yeah that's uh seven a little under seven weeks uh so that'd be seven launches so let's see if i do satellite networks uh so i need about three of those maybe more we need to do a moon landing or two we need to test the uh cur or the the duna ship probably on the moon just to make sure everything's kind of functional and Things are in the correct order for staging. How are things going up here anyway? Still no waste heat generating, so that's good. Electric charge, not great. And it's about to lose that entirely. Yeah, this ship is uh, not adequate enough for a satellite network, so we will uh, need to figure something out there. I'm just having a coffee. <clears throat> Let's see. So, um, a lot of time till that. What else do I want to add into here? Oh, I don't know. I don't really have anything else on the go at the moment. Need more missions on the go. Once I get a, a good uh, network up, we will be able to send some uh, remote landers to various other places. But the only other manned mission I'm thinking about is going to be to Ike Duna and then Elu shortly after that. I don't know if those folks will be getting back or not. I can't remember my plan on that. I had some some stuff worked out ahead of time, but I have to redo that. Um, okay. Let's see. Okay, checked on the window. Still got lots of time. Maybe start uh, putting a few days in between my missions. So. What else? Uh, so let's do a moon landing then. We've got a sat comm satellite up, so maybe we can even test it out and see if from the moon I can transmit some science home, you know, like a crew report or something. Um, let me see. What are we up to for... Uh, we did beryllium. We did hydrogen, helium, lithium. Test satellite one. Was that the one that I just launched that I didn't really give a name? I believe it probably is. Yep. Okay. Oops. Well, we don't need that anyway. Um, hang on. So what is next? Beryllium? Did I do boron? I think the idea was that these were going to be borons. No, I did boron. Beryllium. Carbon? I guess we're doing carbon. So carbon can be our moon lander. Did lithium? I think we're up to carbon. I'm gonna just quickly check on that just so I don't look like an idiot if I'm wrong. <laughs> Hang on. Yeah, I was right. Uh, it is carbon as up and then uh, then nitrogen, then oxygen, then neon. Uh, no, fluorine, then neon. So the one thing I was thinking is this satellite um, really should have been carbon then, right? Because beryllium was the, you know, beryllium then boron. So what was beryllium? Uh, that's a very simple lander. Yeah, that was probably... Is this the Minmus lander? I can't remember now. So what was boron then? Why am I not remembering that? <laughs> this is a bad when you take weeks between uh, videos sometimes. Oh. Oh, I called the satellite. Oh, interesting. I called it boron. Okay, so we're only up to carbon then. So carbon will be a moon lander. New ship. We're going to do a bit of design here. Because I, it's been a long time since I've shown you a design process. And 
there's cats going crazy here. We're going to switch it up and do the Mark 1 lander can because look at the, the mass is 0.66. This one's 1.09, so we're saving 0.35 or so of mass. So that means we can make a slightly, hopefully, more efficient and maybe bring a little bit more stuff ship. And I've kind of got a design in my head. Um, there's a cat in the litter box in here. I'm thinking something like that. Um, and we'll put the science up there. And we will have a very basic engine right on the bottom. Landing legs. Everything's going to have to kind of be four way symmetry on this one, I think. And of course, the idea is oh, maybe I need to. I also need to start thinking about. Oh yeah, I need to think about getting home. Hang on. <laughs> this thing's got to have a heat shield. So we'll say heat shield there. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't need the engine anymore, right? We can just eject the engine. <laughs> There's an interesting idea. Uh, and then expanded fairing base. He's going to fit in it. No, not really, eh? My mouse is really, this could be a problem. My mouse is starting to really glitch out on me here. God, these expanded fairings are just, like how much bigger? Ugh, they're just not big enough. I really need to unlock the new fairing uh, sizes, but that's going to be a bit, I think, away. It's not going to be the highest priority. Well, did I do four-way symmetry on this? No. Ugh. Okay. Let's rethink a little bit of this here. Oops. Um, let's remove that. Let's put stuff down here. A little bit of stuff. Don't need a reaction wheel. Don't need any of that. Could bring this. Attempt to bring the science junior along. What's the mass of it? Uh, 0.2, and then the fuel is going to be probably a whole lot more. 1.25. Maybe I should switch them around. Okay. Oops. Uh, this is this is my design process. I hope this isn't horribly boring to watch. I can't believe my mouse is really. How long have I had this mouse? It's a nice Logitech uh, gaming mouse of some kind. It's got you know a laser and it's wired. I, Never did like non-wired mice, wireless, I think that's the term. So there, now if I have that there and then four-way symmetry here, it's closer. Uh, Geez, even the lander can bit sticks out. <laughs> that sucks. It's somehow larger, but lighter. I don't know. It's good enough. Um, we will attempt to get these. I don't have the smaller legs, do I? Lander legs? I do. Micro landing strut. How much does it stick out? It actually looks like it sticks out more. And there's no... Um, I haven't unlocked any of the landing legs from the B9 yet. They have some really interesting ones, but I don't know if they're, they would fit either. Anyway, okay, sticking with that. Ugh, mouse. Um, moon landing, so we technically don't need to bring any life support. Uh, but bring it anyway, just in case. You never know when you run into trouble. Uh, parachutes, we'll need a couple. I should get the, uh, I'm probably going to be, <laughs> oh, I need to leave that window open, so probably going to be, uh, there we are, okay. 
we have no delta v, probably because I have the engine underneath this here. Uh, we're up to 2,700 kilograms as well, and we don't even have all the fuel we'll need for landing and coming back from the moon. And we haven't included the micro goos or the mystery goos on yet, or the communications. Let's get them on now. I'm going to be ambitious and say let's hit four biomes. I think we can bring a thermometer or two. Just a couple though. A couple thermometers and that honestly unfortunately is all the science we have. What's the distance on this? 500 kilometers? That one? Yeah. So I need to bring this one. Or, yeah, no, I really would have to bring this dish too. <laughs> It looks pretty cool. That is tall, though. <laughs> this is the problem. Is that this would be one heck of a... I could really pick a flat landing spot. And I still don't even have all the fuel that I need to land on the moon and come back. Still not showing any delta V. Let me... This thing might not be fuel cross-feed capable. Ah, 1300 delta V. Put that there, that there. It was saying 1300, right? Oh, but then that, that won't work. That was rather dumb to think I could put that there. Okay, let's bring, let's do a decoupler here and then, oop. that there, decoupler, and now it's saying we've got no delta v again. That's interesting. Um, <laughs> it's okay, we'll do it blind. Oh, need you back on. Thinking we need an extra one of these now too. Wow, this is tall, tall, tall. This is not the most ideal <laughs> moon lander, uh, especially since I don't really know if we're going to be able to get it back. That's why we're bringing a uh, life support along. So what else do we need? We need battery power. We need solar panels. So again, we're not even not even all the way there yet for weight. Batteries, batteries, batteries. A couple of these typically are fine for, I don't want them that high necessarily. Let's put them way down low. Lower mass here, the better for these sorts of things. Lower center of gravity, I guess. Let's, yeah, I know that, uh, center of mass. That's fairly low. Again though, we just don't seem to see the Delta V, which is weird. Oh, it's because I need to separate these out. Um, ugh. This is sucks that I, yeah, I'm having trouble with the mouse, so. And you will go, ugh. come on. There we go. Now we have some Delta V and then that checks that and then these will go at the same time presumably this is the heat shield okay so 990 meters a second that's enough to get us home from the moon now we need to land I think that's enough to get us home it's about 500 to get back in orbit uh, another two three hundred from there yeah that should be good okay we need to land we've got communications battery science science parachutes energy capability to carry someone heat shield and our small teeny little rocket down here let's do i don't think this is going to work i think this will stick out too much my thought was first of all i better try to put it on straight there we go um 
um, my thought was that I would do something along the lines of small, the small fuel uh, thing, but hmm, yeah, that's not even, oh, is that on? It doesn't even look like it can attach there, really. So that's a problem. Again, maybe why that won't work. What else do we have for options? We could stick some Eulage motors on. <laughs> I was actually thinking maybe we should have an escape system, which in that case, these could be good for that. Although then the tower, hmm. I don't want to block anything from opening that. Oh, I could just put them right on here. Really dropping the Delta V down now. <laughs> and those motors apparently have 139 meters a second of Delta V on their own. They're pretty heavy, aren't they? Oh, and they're gonna stick way out. That's a problem. Well, we'll just, we haven't done a flight escape system yet, um, but I'd love to at some point. I just need uh, better designs. <laughs> this is not the greatest design for this. It's tall though, very tall. Okay. Yeah, so. So that's not gonna work. I guess. Can't think of. They just don't seem to want to really attach to anything unless they're. Probably, I don't even have the cubic octagonal strut yet, which is the most useful one. All right. Um, no docking ports. Yeah. Okay. Um, Good enough for now. Okay, I'm gonna skip the rest of this um, and design the bottom half. I wonder if I could use my beryllium lower subassembly. I wonder what that would give it for delta V. Not enough. Wow, that's tall too. <laughs> that's crazy. I need to make a. This is oh yeah, it was a uh, staged like that neatly too. That's pretty cool. Got to play with those. Eesh, that's some weird staging going on with all these they just added in. It's close, close to having enough though. Uh, so that's that, that. Is it just because the staging's off? Maybe it's just because my staging's off. And this thing should fire. Ugh, come on. Come on. Does that change anything? Yes, yes. You're off as well. Where are you? I'm not actually sure what is what is here. That's weird. <laughs> if I stick that back on, now we're talking. That might be enough. That might be enough. The landing may be interesting because we'll have to do essentially most of the landing on this stage, but... And then what do we have down here? Oh, nice. And... And then the big engine's down here. So this stage here, though, stage four, needs to get us 1704 to the moon. So 800 meters a second from orbit. And we've used, we've got 3,600 meters a second up to that point. That's a problem. No, it isn't because we've got about a thousand, well, we've got about 900 to circularize the orbit and then get to the moon and do circularize there and do the landing. That might be doable. I think this is worth a try. Uh, I'm just gonna make sure all the staging's correct. It's interesting that I can just bring that in and it just seems to work. <laughs> I almost feel like I want to give the boosters a little bit more juice, but why not? Why not just give like, uh, what would that add to the mass? Not a ton. Yes, that's exactly what I want. There we 
go. Uh, it gives me, it makes me feel a little more comfortable. I can't even remember what it added. Not that much, but good enough. Uh, I've got these parts all sitting out here. We don't need. Do need this on? <laughs> parts sticking out all over the place. Terrible. Um, and we need those to go at the correct time too. So where did they go? They went up here. I think I'm gonna want them around in here somewhere. Okay, here we go. Oh, nope. There's one. There's two. Okay. Stage, stage, these go off. Main thing, this next engine fires. Oh, there seems to be too much stuff here. Yeah, there's one of those there, so. Hmm. What are these? It's not these two, is it? No. Must be something up in here that I can't see. Well, that should get us into orbit, though, so we'll sort the staging out up there, as long as I remember. And 6,400 meters a second should get us a moon landing. Okay. Let's uh, save carbon one. Uh, do we need any action groups? Oh, I know what, one thing I want to add that will... I hope it remembers where these were. Um, lights. I need red lights. Yes, here we go. Oh, and I left these on. Ha! Those can go. That actually saves a little bit of mass, too. What were those weight was? 0.025, so 0.05 mass saved from all stages. Very nice. Red lights on for extra cool landingness. Parachutes. Okay. Thought I remembered to get rid of those. That probably was what some of those extra. Um, yes, I think it was <laughs> some of those extra things that I didn't know what they were. Okay, resave that. Carbon one. Pick a crew. Uh, I can't even remember who's been on which ship, uh, ships and stuff yet. I really need to keep a log. That would be something. That'd be a fun mod, actually. Logging, you know, allow you to keep a log of your missions and what the mission did, who went, success, failures, deaths, things like that. Be pretty cool. Okay. Let's give it a, a day or so, maybe a couple days, a few days before we launch as well. Whew, bendy. <laughs> Stuck bent. Okay, there's one day, two days, three days. I will launch at like eight, nine in the morning. Okay, everything's still stable. We have everything seeming to light there the correct time. And this thing's tilted, but Think it'll be okay these probably could have been bigger <laughs> oh well this is, should be good enough to get us uh to the moon and back so we'll launch with some thrust what do we got thrust away ratio good in three two i've got no sound hmm i should check on that i wonder if the game is missing sound for some reason maybe we'll have a completely silent uh, game once I get into orbit, anyway, this could be... Again, I don't know why I have no sound. I hope my voice is recording, otherwise we're doing a voiceover. And I don't really like doing those so much. Oh, and I forgot, I think one of the things I need to do here... Whew, so bendy. So bendy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
this thing. I need Kerbal Joint Reinforcement or something like that. Okay, get there. Oh, geez, that's ran out and I didn't even notice. Ugh. There's no sound, so I can't tell what's going on. Doesn't look like it was out for that long. Had to roll the spacecraft. That was one thing I learned previously. Okay, that's a good tilt for now. Get that kind of keep going there. Okay, whew. We got some seriously good speed going. Oh, and we're already at 22,000 meters. Look at that Apple apps. What is going on? Why am I not paying attention? <laughs> we're gonna have a seriously steep uh, flight up here. I'm gonna have to cut, cut out pretty soon. I'm gonna watch those engines when they end. I think I'll cut, I guess, right after they, uh, after they go. Oh, maybe not. I can just keep going a little bit more. We're not even quite up to uh, orbital velo height, velocity, whatever yet. And this thing's got 1,500 meters a second of delta V. That could be enough. I think this is going to work. I think this is going to be good. That uh, beryllium lower subassembly is pretty nice. And now we're not, we weren't gaining the Apple apps as much as horizontal velocity, so that's perfect. Stop at about 85 kilometers or so, maybe. What's going on in there? I hear some giggles and such. Our daughter has started uh, <laughs> lifting herself up and standing, which is super cute, but <laughs> she's biting on her um, crib as well. So that's one thing that's somewhat annoying. So there's 85 kilometers ish 85 85 85 85 <laughs> close enough okay and we still have 900 meters a second of delta v left here whoa this is gonna be good oh and i think we can get rid of those by now <laughs> shoot could have saved a little bit of delta v oh well um so what needs to be activated anything i don't know if i have enough power uh, with everything going on, we could turn on the lights. I want to put them in an action group, but I don't know why the gear says they start down too and then they aren't. But anyway, uh, time to Apple Apps, 50 seconds. So uh, what else do I want to talk about? Oh, uh, one reason um, that it's taken me so long to do videos is I've taken on an extra work project, which is going to be a, something like, supposed to be maximum five hours a week of extra work but i have to do it kind of in the evenings and weekends which is again going to eat into my time uh, but it's you know it's going to be good for my uh career i guess we'll call it uh it's it's um it's kind of doing like a technical consultant work which uh, i haven't done a whole lot of okay we got 17 seconds here we should probably be firing very very soon yeah i think probably now is good full throttle still no sound as soon as i get into orbit i'm going to uh, save this and uh head out maybe reload this and see if i can get my sounds going because i don't know why my sounds aren't working yeah, i've passed my apple apps that's unfortunate but that's okay get this up fairly close and then i'm probably going to eject this so it's not orbital debris so i'll probably lose some delta v from that Maybe not a ton though. Okay, we're coming up. Just about zero periaps. So what's that? 163 meters a second of delta V. Five, 25 kilometers or so. And making sure this is the correct one. There we go. And then we will bring this up. Oh, that's such an annoying. There, 75 kilometers. Perfect. So everything else should be falling back. Got there's the uh, uh, those aerodynamic-y things. <laughs> wow, great words. Okay, uh, and I could theoretically be communicating with this one. 
once I'm out of sight, I, I should check on that. Just of interest's sake. Target. It's a boron one, I guess, eh? Okay, is that? Yes, look at this. Communication. While this thing is still slightly functional, it's <laughs> we have some communication going on. We could, if it uh, won't, won't be uh, useful, but I could do a crew report <laughs> and send it back. I don't think an EVA would uh, help. Nope. Okay. Anyway, we could be beaming some things back, which is pretty cool. And we've got 1,600 meters a second of delta V. That's, yeah, that's so, yeah, that should be good. I think we'll be good. And then, yeah, 900 in that one. Cool. Okay, I'm going to um, save it here. Quick save, quick save is five. Quick save, okay. And I'm going to uh, log out and log back in and see what's going on with the sound. Make sure my videos have sound. And I'll be right back.